I bought the system as an aid to heat detection primarily, um, with the added advantage of calving alerts. This is the first other technology we have bought into the farm and it's just with an aid of saving labour, trying to make the farm as efficient as possible. Due to land being a limiting factor, um, as regards scaling up, we can't really go much further. The milking platform already is pretty much up to its capacity, so we're just honing in basically on genetics now and breeding. We're breeding for 12 weeks. The aim is to bring that down to about 10, 10 and a half weeks. Up till this year we were tail painting. It works fairly well, but it's down to human error, which mostly is my fault if it doesn't go right. Um, this year we started with SmackTech boluses. We're halfway through our breeding season, so it's hard to get a complete picture of it yet, but it looks like it will be fairly good, fairly accurate. And the idea is that if we can get this up to 95% plus accuracy, which is better than I am, then we'll go down to one person milking. So it means that we'll be, um, become much more labour efficient. I'm Alan Heaney, the co-owner, co-founder of Animal Health Monitoring Systems. We're based in Mullingar and we have the distribution for SmackStick, which is a simple electronic bolus. So in essence what that does, it does heat detection, health monitoring, early list detection and calving and pH monitoring. Every bolus has a unique serial number. So the most important part of that is we've got to take down that serial number. Then we've got to activate the bolus. The bolus has come into stock asleep. We activate them with a magnet and now they're alive. And it's from that date of activation where your four year warranty applies. We then take that bolus, we put it into the applicator and then we place it down the throat of the cow. Falls into the room and then sits in the reticulum and there where it lies. Uh, no bolus have been coughed up and no bolus have been passed out. And we have approximately 1,600 boluses in cows in Ireland over the last five months. It's not an expensive system. It's much cheaper than all the other alternatives out there. And I think uh, the simplicity of it, once that cow walks through the power out, the bolus sends the messages to a repeater and onto a base station, up to the cloud and back down to a farmer's phone. Very friendly, with no big cable and The whole transfer of information and data is very fast and very slick. So it's simple, reliable, it's a plug and play system. When cows are not bulling actively, it's harder to monitor the tail paint, whereas it's easy to pick up your phone and just look at the screen and see if you've had a heat. We'll be AI in the cows at the right time because it will be telling us when they were in peak season. Because a cow that's calves 12 weeks after the first one, generally speaking, is the cows that don't get back and calf and also will produce dramatically less milk. A typical bolus costs about 65 euros per cow. Uh, the base station, the repeaters and the applicators, maybe a couple of thousand more. So essentially for a 50 cow herd, we're talking maybe five or six grand plus fat. For a 100 cow herd, maybe seven or eight grand plus fat. We have finance available for this, so instead of writing a cheque, guys can get finance options over 24, 36 or 48 monthly payments. It makes it easy affordable, makes it easier for guys to invest in it and easier to make the return. Would I recommend it to other farmers? I would. Heat detection alone is good and the calving alert is on top of that, so anything that makes life easier is a bonus. I think it can be very accurate and that, the biggest thing is getting it to that 95% accuracy and if we can do that, uh, it's a great simple system, it's very simple. For more information, we'll be setting up a Facebook page at Snackstick Ireland, where we'll be uh, putting up all our installations, all our videos, uh, customer feedback, and any maybe uh, uh, meetings or events that we'll be carrying out over the winter months and early spring.